So welcome again to another Pixel Mater tutorial. Today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create 3D text or the effect of 3D text in Pixel Mater. Before I go on, I just want to um just want to run something by the Pixel Mater team. See how I've got my um all my tools here look stacked up. I think we should have a minimize button here and they should expand into the tools that they are. Just a bit of food for thought. Um so yeah, if you could do that in the next update, that would be awesome. Thanks a lot. <laughs> you gotta try, you gotta try, haven't you? So yeah, let's get on and, um, and make some make some three D text or three D effect text. So I've just got a, a new layer, layer here, and I am going to um, grab the text tool and create some new text. I should have on my pasteboard. Yeah, let's just my sort of Twitter effect name. I'm just going to change the font on that to um, to something called. Hobo, I think it is. Hobo Standard. And you can get this from 1001fonts.com. I'll put the um, link in the description. Apologise for my voice, by the way. I've been shouting all week. So that'll teach me to shout. Don't shout. Let's make it a little bit bigger so it fits on the screen. So, yeah, so I've just got um, my name. So, just, yeah, just use your name. Center it up or sort of center it up. Um, and, yeah, so I've got my name in text. You can use any name, you don't have to use my name of course. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change the colour of that. So I'm going to go to view and show show colours. I've just hidden colours. <laughs> view, show colours. Says my colours and I'm going to make this, all of it, white. Because on my black background, my background layer which is the layer here let's call it background double click to change the name I'm going to get my paintbrush I'm going to make it black I'm going to make my background layer black now with this 13th here selected I'm going to right click it and I'm going to convert it into pixels so get your font and everything before you convert it into pixels because now with the font you can't do anything different with it I'm then going to go to my effects browser and I'm going to Scroll down and find coating. Yes, coating. So with my um, text selected, I'm going to double click coating, and you get this sort of view like this look. And I'm going to I'm going to scale it to about no to about yeah to about one point seven two to 1.7 1.7 pixels right on the coating click OK and you'll see that we have got our name but it's sort of coated in light if you like so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna right click my text at the top and duplicate right click again duplicate right click again duplicate so now we've got one two three four and they will be the original a copy copy one and a copy two so I'm going to select them all select the top one press shift on your keyboard select the bottom one I'm going to right click I'm going to group um, layers not sorry merge layers not group layers merge layers right click merge layers I'm then going to duplicate that again so it is quite bright on our screen I'm going to right click that and merge layers again so this is just the text the text so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my effects and I am going to find something called Colorize. I'm going to double click Colorize and just for this tutorial, you can make it any colour, I'm going to sort of pick a greeny colour here, turn the saturation up to 95%, turn the light down to about minus 17 so I'll get this bright green on the top that gives it the 3d effect so my saturation at the top on my green is 95.9 my lightness is minus 19.1 um, but depend on what color you use will depend on on you just have to play around with the saturation and the light a little bit so um, now what I'm going to do I'm going to get my text right click duplicate again right click duplicate again so I'm going to do it two more times select them all merge layers now something cool with the latest sort of three update up here on the toolbar look you've got shadows and reflection so I'm just gonna 
click reflection so now we've got this reflection on our um, on our text and that's really as simple as creating 3d text in um, in pixelmator 3 is so if you have any questions or any problems please leave them in the comments below or if you have any dramas with this please leave them in the comments below and the thing to to if you remember when i went um, when i chose my coating pixels that's what determines this bright edge which gives it the 3d effect so that's what you're gonna have to look at when you're choosing your coating pixels if you um, struggle with that just go back in the video and you'll see it so yeah thanks a lot for watching catch you later and i'll um i'll be back with that motion video finishing the um finishing the the intro adding music to it in my next video catch you later bye